I have with me now Mr. Tsuyoshi Nakai, CEO, Japan Cooperation Center, Petroleum and Sustainable Energy. Welcome to this interview. Welcome to ADIPEC. The session we just saw was about work balance between work and life. How do you do it and how it is important nowadays for companies and for employees to have this balance? We settled a special committee with UAE countries, especially ADNOC, by the lead of the, Her, Her, Her Highness, Sheikha Fatima Bin Mubarak, with uh, Do Mr. Dr. Maisar Shamsh, and also the, His Excellency the, uh, Mr. Sultan Al Jabel, and the, also the, the, the Fatima Al Nuaimi, uh, head of LNG. You know, like, uh, we have been settled this cooperation forum for six years. The 1,000 Japanese, uh, 1,000 ladies and women of both countries exchange their experiences in Japan, in your country. So we have a lot of effort to improve the human career development. We set a special course, training course for your ladies, and also the forum to understand the nice benchmarks and the case studies, a role model. That could help us to improve the management of the company and the policies for human career development. That will continue to do it, and we need to compete, we need to cooperate, try to find a better atmosphere for human career development. How can we improve the atmosphere by steps for women to be more inclusive and yet to deliver targets at work and be uh, the mother or the wife they need to be? Like a, like a manager's class of ladies who need a help of partner in the home. So the, the contribution of partner for take care of the children, house matters, that is quite important. So of course, that we need a change of the image of the culture, but also we need a the policy. So Japanese government recently settled a new policy, try to add the children care leaves, not only one hour, one year, but also in eight weeks, you could get additional children care leaves. That kind of improvement of the policy is quite important to promote the help of the partner in your family, in your for the, for the promotion of the ladies. That's one of the main issues. And also, the, you may think that the gender gap is one of the issues, but also that we have a generation gap, we have a workplace gap. So those gaps that exist here. So we can focus on the each gap and to, to, to improve the solutions. For example, gender gap, the young people are much more free to think, to, to do what they want. The 50 years older lady, they feel they are, they are keeping the contribute to the company. So the emotion is different. So for young people, you have a chance. Now the oil and the gas companies are shifting to the also the new energy field, carbon neutrality and the green revolutions. So there are no the present strong, strange networks. So young people can challenge try to find own way to promote yourself, the people can help you. And ask the student, please come to oil and gas industry. It's not the old fashioned industry. We are changing. We are going to the new carbon neutral energy industry. That kind of message is important for young people. Did COVID help accelerate the new work regulations and rules? Sure, the, the, in, like in Japan. The women really like to work in the home. They decrease the communication time, uh, community time, commune time. So they need to, to use a train every day. So that's good help for lady. So they like to stay in the home. And uh, they, in fact, they are working a little bit more than before in the home. So the question is the productivity. So we may need to find a better way to communicate communication style and evaluation style. We can, we can find the best mix of the face to face talk and the remote talk. In the case of Adonok, it seems you are doing quite well. We have to learn from you. But in Japan, we know, we know how to find a better productivity using the communication teamwork. So we can find a better model very soon. 
In Japan has uh, an age population problem. How are you solving this? You know, 1,000 years ago, there's a famous woman essay writer, Sei Shogunagun. She wrote a famous essay, so-called The Pillow Book. Very beautiful one. She described four seasons. For spring, it is a drone. This is most beautiful like that. And for autumn, it is the evening that is most beautiful. The sky shines red. And just as the sun is about to sink into the mountains. And the winter, it is early morning. It's most beautiful. It is beautiful when snow has fallen during the night. And she also said, people rush to start a fire on those chilly mornings. Then they run from room to room carrying hot charcoal for the stoves. It's all very winter-like. That is the model. Japanese returning back to the 1,000 years ago, try to find the best work and life balance, like her. Work in the office and stay in the home and write a very beautiful Japanese four seasons and lightings. And she knows like uh, this energy is bioenergy, carbon neutral. And so she is really matching person of this year. So we return back to this. We remember, Japanese remember, we have a such kind of person 1,000 years ago. We return back to the, that, that uh, her style and try to find the happiness and wellness based on the, our histories. Thank you.